Hello, and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today, I have another beer from Fontaflora Brewing Company out of Morganton, North Carolina. Um, this is part of their Mixed Culture Goza series. This is the Muscadine version. Uh, description says Mixed Culture Goza beer fermented with local Muscadine grapes and aged on vermouth inspired botanicals. Um, so I know what vermouth is, and I know what botanicals are, but I don't know what specific botanicals are in vermouth, so I can't uh, talk about that. But um, this is 4.8 ABV, which I think is close to, if not the same as the other ones. So I'm going to crack it open and see what we got. This came out recently. I have not had this before, um, but I've liked all of the other ones that they've done, so... I'm hoping this is a uh, similar quality. I have substantially high confidence that it will be. And I do like um, these clear glass bottles. It gives you a nice look into what the uh, how the fruit colored the beer. Um, so you can see, of course, a, uh, I guess it's a pinkish, orangish color. Um, I had a small white head that fizzled out pretty quickly, which usually happens with, uh, these types of beers. Oh, man. <sighs> um, this is very grapey, but it's also very, um, so, it's to me it remind it reminds me of something aged in gin barrels, uh, and which makes sense I guess from the botanical standpoint. I'm not too familiar with vermouth though, but it smells very great. Like this literally smells like a um, like a Druven lambic. That's crazy. I don't know. I'm so confused right now because this seriously smells like a. a Lambic with the grapes in it. That's how much depth is in this aroma. I mean, it even has that like slight burnt rubbery character that a lot of lambics have. Um, there's for sure some grape character, but I don't know. I gotta, I gotta take a taste of it. Wow. Wow. That is insane. Um, holy shit. So I definitely get the uh, the botanicals. I don't know exactly what they are, um, but it's very earthy and herbal. And then then it falls into like this leathery funky, sweet, tarty finish. Um, you know, I've, I've praised the, this series a lot of times before because I think it has so much complexity and like for, for how much these costs, it's just crazy to me that they're this, that they, they are the price that they are. Um, because they're just, I mean, they taste like a legitimate American wild ale, like a really good, complex American wild ale, and they're like $4 a bottle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and this was, I bought this today, it was 16 bucks or a four pack. But this one especially, with that the grape character, it adds like a completely different level of complexity. Um... Like I said, it reminds me of a Druven Lambic with uh, those grapes in it. 
And it's almost it's almost hard for me to describe because uh, on top of those botanicals, there is like a little bit of that like rubbery lambic character. Um, and then it finishes with like a really deep, like sweet tarty, bready character, like Brett, B-R-E-T-T-Y. Um, I don't know. This is super, super complex, in my opinion, compared to any of the other ones. And I liked all of the other ones too, but this one is crazy. Um, I... I'm going to go buy more of this. I cannot believe that this is the price this is. This could be... The only thing that's kind of weird about this is it's like pretty undercarbonated. Um, which is weird because the head fizzled out quickly. But it, I guess it's undercarbonated for like a lambic that would have been just recently opened. But if you poured it into a uh, decanter and let it... And wash it around for a little bit and let it aerate. This is, I guess, this then this carbonation would be similar to that, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, this is by far my favorite of all of the these that they've done. Um, like the strawberry one was basically like a mini version of Rhythm Rug, which is great. I mean, it's a ton of fresh fl strawberry flavor and all that, but. This has so much more complexity and funk and like, it's just, that other one was just a really great tasting beer. This actually has like crazy, what I would perceive as crazy skill to be able to make this. Not that the other one didn't, but this one's just at a different level. Um, so I'm definitely going to buy more of this. Uh, I think this is great. This is my favorite of the series and it's just, it's awesome. Uh. I think that's all I got on this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.